hello everyone today i am going to make another bulldog design for halloween of course so i was doing some research and i found this picture and this is really good a bulldog is on a pumpkin so as this was from my previous video i had this drawing done so i thought to make a similar design but i will make it in my style so the plan here i am doing is you can see this image here this pumpkin with this witch hat so this was the this image actually attracted me that i can simply make something like this i am going to put this bulldog inside this pumpkin and then i will follow this image i will create a witch hat here and then i will put that on my bulldog so everything here i am going to use my pen tool as this is from my previous video i have showed you so i am not going to make any changes here like this one i just want to make sure that everything is intersecting with each other so for that i am going to go to view and outline mode and by this i can check that if my every line that is the outside of my design is connected each other so that that will be necessary for my next work whatever i am going to do so for this one here i am going to use this pumpkin from my last video i sent you this image but as i showed you in my previous video that this is from a image that could be copyrighted so i am not going to use this in exact same way i am going to make some changes here so this is the you can see this is a reference image i am using for this halloween mouth here this pumpkin mouth here so i am just going to use this as my reference so and by this it will not be a copyrighted image because this is from two different images and they are completely separate from each other okay for this one here i am going to make them maybe just adjust the position a bit but i want to make these stroke lines similar with my this bulldog strokes because that will look good when it will be something like this because this should be same wide so now this is going to be my pumpkin here but i will need to make a cut here to remove this upper part of my pumpkin so for that one here i am going to first of all i am going to use some curve lines here something like this because i want to when i will add a circular here circle here it will it will remove this areas this upper part of my pumpkin so that will be invisible for my design so that is why i am going to use this one here just like this okay just a bit adjusting here okay that will okay i will fix that later so i am going to first of all remove that one i need to make a cut here and for that i am going to use a ellipse tool here use my ellipse tool here just like this maybe a bit downward something like this so this is going to be the this part is going to be here and then i need to show the inner part when a pumpkin is cut out so that is what i am going to do so i am pressing ctrl c and ctrl f that means copying this ellipse and pasting in front so if i select this one i'll make it something like this but a bit i don't want it pixel perfect because i am going to keep this this lower part this behind part will not be visible so i am going to focus on my upper part here okay so as you can see now these areas i am going to select my pumpkin here taking my eraser tool to erase everything that is inside my this to circle because that is not important for me okay so for this one here 
this is going to be the pumpkin inner part of my pumpkin so maybe a bit downwards like this because i want to match these two side here this one and this one from here just something like this okay maybe that is that will work for me now for this one here as you can see these two part i don't need them and i am going to select this pumpkin outline and again it is taking my eraser tool to erase this extra part that is intersecting with my ellipse here okay so now my pumpkin is almost ready because this upper part is gone i am going to put my bulldog in there so i am going to use my shape builder tool to erase those part now this is looking good for me i am going to make them a group here so everything here it stays in the same position and this bulldog head sorry for that this is also in group mode so i am going to paste it or place it something like this but in a okay i need to first of all make them align together so that is it now i am going to make this a little bit bigger because i don't want it to make i don't want to be this bulldog head bigger than my pumpkin because i want to make him small and he is inside sitting inside this pumpkin so that is the point of my this drawing going to be now when he is sitting inside this as you can see there is two small hands here on top of this pumpkin so that is what i am going to do here and i am going to use my curvature tool maybe just like this just to create a random shapes i am going to pick my eyedropper to match the same white here okay now i need to select my this pumpkin face group here pressing i to pick the eyedropper then pressing on these strokes because i want everything to be in same size okay so this is now this is now actually 20 pixel wide so my every other elements should be also 20 pixel so if i select this pumpkin face group here it is also 20 pixel okay that is good for me now i need to place this hand maybe a bit smaller in size and then again picking this same white i want it to be something like this okay a little bit smaller just like this so i want to want this hand to be on top of this pumpkin area so i am going to make another copy here then again reflecting it just to adjust the position like this this part is coming inside this mouth area so i need to keep that also in similar position and like this okay that is maybe a bit right side okay that is good for me okay guys so this is now going to be my final design now i need to make some adjustment here so i am selecting everything here that is inside this bulldog pumpkin and this hand here now pressing shift m that is the shape builder tool i am erasing this parts here because i don't want that to be i don't want anything inside my head because this is on top of everything so this part should be erased because that is inside the mouth of my bulldog okay guys i need to make a little bit adjustment here because i made a mistake maybe so i am selecting this bulldog group here just like this okay because i want this front area to be as you can see this is this hand is inside this bulldog face lower area so i need to adjust that and also that is that was coming on top of my eye here pumpkin eye so that is what i am going to do here okay so now everything is in position i am going to select them again i am using this shape builder tool so this one should be removed sorry for that 
okay this is a very annoying and of course repeating process so maybe i should come back after i finish this one just a little bit i am showing how to do this as you can see this one should be this hand should be behind the face of this bulldog okay let me just make this if you do not like you can just ignore the process you can fast forward the video maybe the, you have a option on youtube now okay so these little areas should not be here because my face is on top of everything so you can see it makes okay you need to be very careful wherever you are clicking so okay guys i will be back once it is finished okay guys so this is now the final position of my bulldog and this pumpkin here i just want to make this this two line i don't want them to be a straight cut here and in this end so i'm going to use that same effect here just to make them look like this is the curve of this pumpkin so for this one here i am going to use from this point i am going to use my hat here because okay as you can see this is a copyrighted image this is from a stock site but i made a version of my own using the pen tool the pen tool is the pen and paper so you can do whatever you want to do with that you can simply make anything from any images with just a little bit modification and that is that you will easily avoid copyright so i am going to make this one black here making a group and this is going to be the hat of my bulldog here okay so i need to make it a bit bigger in size because that is the position i am going to place this okay before that i need to make sure that these all are in a group because i don't want to lose their position so when they are in group i am going to use my this group here selecting them all aligning them center wise and that is the easiest way to use them okay now as you can see my this this is my hat i am going to use my eyedropper to pick this same white for my hat also now i need to okay if i just make it a little bit different in color it will be easier for me now i am selecting them using my shape builder again but as you have seen before that i use transfer transparency to remove any part on of my design or hide anything from my design so in this design i am going to use the same effect but with merge tool so for that i am going to use this head this part should be on top but this little two this two small parts this they should be behind this ears but they this one should be on top of my bulldog so for that i am going to erase this part here because here the image is on top again this part here here the the ear is in top here and of course i should erase this part also because that should not be there when they are in back so and this part here i don't need that because my ear is covering with this area of my hat okay so this one also going to take a bit time here as you can see this part i don't need them okay when we are using a hat here we don't need this much details to be to be there okay guys that is good for me now as you can see this part of my hat is on top but this part is on behind because that is going behind the bulldog head but as you can see here this two part is on top of my red area so i am going to cut and paste in front and that is how they will be behind my hat area here and when i will add some colors in it it will be easily removed so for this one here as you can see this is 
not looking very good because this is the same wide so i'm going to make that one a bit smaller so that it looks good okay guys so this is now my final position for the for my pumpkin and the bulldog and this hat so everything is now okay i don't want any changes here anymore so i'm going to break everything that is inside my design here but before that as i showed in my previous video also i also i always keep a copy here because if i if at any point i need to make any changes i can always make changes here but this one i am going to just expand and when i will expand it it will become a fill color shape as you can see this is no more a stroke and if i select this one here make it make it black it will be everything a black color design and as you can see there was some problems in this little areas i can easily fix that okay guys so this is now my final position of my bulldog here i am just going to add some colors for it and that is that will be all for this design after adding some colors and of course i am going to add another text here like bulldog is my boo so that is the text i will add here but i will do that later so let me just add some colors here i will be back up to that okay guys so i am going to add the colors here i thought to make it offline but then i decide to make it record so as you can see this is now my final design and like the previous video i keep a copy on top that is locked now this is my second layer now this is the colors i am going to use in this drawing so this one i i picked that color from this design so i am going to make them a source here source group color group here so for this one here i am going to simply use a background shape here with any color i want i am going to cut and paste in back so that is now in back i am going to select everything here because that is the things i am going to use here everything so i am going to use my pathfinder tool here and this divide option if i click here it will be divided and if i double click on this blank area i can select this area and delete it so once it is deleted as you can see everything here is now in single color but if i double click here i can easily select any part i want like this part here so i am going to use that darker that lighter pumpkin color here this one this two area i am going to use a kind of dark not very too much dark but something dark color this area i am going to use the same dark color and then these little areas this yellow area so this is the easiest way of coloring your artwork because you can always use paint bucket tool but that is a little bit tricky to put everything in this working in this small details areas but you can simply work like this and for this one here this halloween t-shirt this sorry this hat here which hat i am going to use this this kind of color and then this area this little two area i am going to use this same color but in a darker shade just because this two is in shadow area in so they should not be so they should not be as light as this upper color and this area here i am going to use something kind of white but not complete white this one i am going to keep that as yellow at, is keep that yellow now for this one here this little area of my this inside area of my pumpkin here i am going to use this same color this same orange but in a lighter shade as you have seen that when we cut a pumpkin it looks like a bit lighter inside and then darker outside okay so this is going to be the area now for this one here as you can see this 
a small little area i am going to select that i am going to make that this color okay so i can easily make here this same color because i just used this color as the inner color of my pumpkin so that is what i am going to use here now for this bulldog here i am going to use a little bit okay maybe this same white type kind of color here for this ear and his hand and this area i am going to use kind of this color but not that much darker just a bit because that is the color of dog i think so that is what i am going to use here now for these areas i am going to use this same color but in a darker mode like before so this area this inside area of this eyes should be also in that color and then these two little area should be complete white because that is inside the eye here and this area i am going to use this color but in a darker in a bit more darker shade okay guys so this is now my final design of that pumpkin okay this area should be also this shade color because that is kind of a underneath area of my dog here so this is going to be the final design for me guys i will add some shadow here like before but that will take a lot of time so i am not going to do that for this video here so that is all for today guys i just made this video to share with you guys that with pen tool you can do a lot more things so much more thing you can do with pen tool and always you can use you can create your own artwork just by using pen tool and that is really easy to use so i hope this one will give you some idea guys how to generate ideas from different reference images and then make that and then use that in your design so thank you everyone for watching this have a great time see you in the next video thank you